There are a bunch of YouTube channels and TikTok pages just like this one that post very simple short form content that probably takes them no longer than five minutes to make. And this channel, for example, is making upwards of $11,000 per month, all from shorts. And I know it's all from shorts because if you actually look at their channel, they only have like 11 long form videos and the highest viewed video is like 71K views. But if we look at their shorts, now we see where all their views are actually coming from. And this channel has a total of 255 million views and I just want you to look at the type of videos that they're posting because I mean they are very simple it's just a background image it'll be like some sort of facts or in some cases even like quizzes but in this video I'm not going to show you how to make just one of these in five minutes or even 10 of them in 10 minutes I'm going to show you how you can make upwards of 600 videos in just an hour so if you're someone who's struggling to get started with YouTube because your competitors just keep dishing out videos so much quicker than you are this will solve that issue you're going to be able to pump out 600 videos and schedule them for the rest of the week now this guide is going to be very simple but make sure you watch till the end because at the end I'll give you guys six niches for you guys to get started with and I'll also give you a bunch of examples on how to actually style the videos now for the example that I'm going to show you guys in this video the niche that we're going to pick is going to be TV shows and the way that you're going to format it is pretty much going to be you asking ChatGPT to give you a hundred questions with four potential answers and only one correct answer so the prompt that I use is I'm doing a trivia question on popular TV shows I need a hundred different cases of TV shows questions with four potential answers and one correct answer the format table should look like this for the trivia question option one option two option three option four and the answer and just to make it easier I told it exactly which shows to pick I said pick Breaking Bad Prison Break Power and Snowfall now this is only because those are like some of the only shows that I've watched pretty good shows by the way and it gave it to me in like a table format like this which I didn't want because I actually want to be able to download all of these questions but it was kind enough to ask me you know let me know if you'd like a downloadable CSV version which is exactly what we want now don't get this confused with CV we don't do CV we're self-employed and then it just gives me the downloadable version and you just download it from there now if you're wondering you know why are you saying a hundred questions here but you said 600 in the beginning well i'm not going to ask it to give me 600 all at once because it's either going to make them all very poor or it's going to start repeating some so what you want to do after this one is tell it give me another hundred without repeating anything and then another hundred so you're not going to do all 600 at once because the quality is going to go down a lot you want to break them up a hundred hundred should take you about 10 minutes to make then another hundred another hundred and then you'll be able to get 600 in 60 minutes. Next, you want to head over to Canva because this is where we're going to be making all of the videos. Just search up YouTube Shorts and either pick a template and delete everything or just create a blank page. And then for the background, you can search up motion background or if you want to get your own background from like Pixabay or something, that's completely up to you. But if you're going to use it directly from Canva, search up motion background, go on the videos because you want something that's actually moving. If you even want to take it a step further, you can actually make your own backgrounds using AI. A website like Leonardo AI actually makes motion videos, so you can make a background specifically for your niche. So if I'm doing TV shows, I can get like an AI generated motion video of Walter White, something that actually relates to the niche. I'm not gonna do that for the sake of this video, but that would level up your videos. All right, so I'm just gonna pick this one. No particular reason, which is like one of the first ones that I looked at. And now I'm going to drag the whole thing so it actually fits up the entire page. Then what you want to do is you want to actually add some text. So click on add a heading. And for this one, we're going to call it question. And I just added a background just to make it more visible. You can do whatever you want. You can add an outline. Just don't make it look ugly. And then you want to add all of your options. So you're going to have option A. Remember, we have four different options that the viewer can pick from for the answer. So we're going to add A here and then copy it. Put, you know, this is going to turn into B over here and so on. Now I just made them a little bit smaller, but just keep in mind whenever you're going to import all the stuff over, it's going to mess everything up. So you're going to have to actually go and tweak it all over again. So don't try to make this like completely perfect because from what I've noticed, it always ends up messing it up. Now we don't want all of the options visible for the entire time because we want the first part of it to be just the question. So we're going to change the visibility of this one. So you just click on it and at the bottom you can drag it. I'm going to make them pop up like a second after. So if the video is 10 seconds, I'm going to make it start at nine seconds. And the question is obviously going to start from the very beginning, but we're also going to drag the question back to like seven seconds. And we're going to do the same thing for all of the options as well. We're going to drag them all the way back to, I think this one's actually six seconds. Because here we're actually going to add the answer. We want the question and then all the options to go away before the video ends, obviously, so you can give them the answer. So here, just write answer. And then we want to add some sort of timer. So just type in stopwatch timer and take whichever one you like. I'm going to use this one for this example. So it's going to look something like this. When you start the video, the question is already here at the top. And then all of the options are going to pop up with the timer. And then once the timer runs out, that's when the answer is actually going to pop up just like this. Now just to make the video a little bit nicer, I'm going to add effects on all of the options. So when you start the video, you have the question, 
then they kind of transition in pretty smoothly just so it doesn't just like pop up out of nowhere and i did the same for the answer as well when they fade out the answer pops up you can obviously play around with the effects however you want pick whichever one you think would look nicest for you but now you're probably wondering how am i actually going to add all the questions that i made with ChatGPT? i don't just type them all in what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the app section on CapCut, and if you scroll down there's going to be something called bulk create this is exactly what we're going to use so when you click on bulk create click on upload data and upload the file that you downloaded from ChatGPT which has all your questions on it. Now you'll get this page. What we have to do now is pretty much connect everything to the questions, to the options, to the, I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. What you're gonna do is right click on the questions and click on connect data and just pretty much click on questions. Simple as that. And then you're gonna head over to option A, click on connect data, option one, option B, connect data, option two, and you get the point for the rest. And then you just click on continue. And now you're gonna generate the 100 designs. Now I have all of the videos. Now remember what I told you, it'll always kind of mess up the way the video is formatted. So now you're gonna have to kind of pretty much tweak everything. So I just made this one a little bit smaller. So the way the video is gonna look now is gonna be just like this. The question's gonna pop up here. All of the options are gonna come up. Heisenberg, Gus, Jesse, Hank, obviously the answer is Heisenberg. And then once the timer runs out, the answer comes up, Heisenberg. Now because it was messed up, we don't wanna go and change every single 100 of these videos to make sure it all kind of looks good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the original video and edit this one. So go back to the beginning, the questions. When I edited this one, I changed it to 62 for the font to fit everything in. So I'm gonna change this one to 62 and I'm gonna slide it just a little bit up because that's exactly what I did. Now I'm gonna generate the 100 images again. So now when we play it, it'll look like this. It just saves us the time from having to go and look at everything all over again. But what I will recommend is don't just take this right away. Actually go skim through the entire video and make sure there's no like errors. Make sure everything looks good. That'll take you no more than like five minutes. This entire video is probably going to be like 60 minutes. But we're obviously not going to watch the entire 60 minutes. We're going to skim through it and just try to find any errors. So now in order to actually download everything, click on share. And then click on download. And you're going to download all of the pages obviously but make sure you download them all as separate files. And then you can trim up the video however way you want. You can turn it into a minute long video, two minute long videos. You have 16 minutes now if you did it this way to work with. Now, what kind of niches can you pick for this? You can do something like psychology and human behavior. That's kind of like the example video that I showed you guys in the beginning. That was the kind of the concept that they were going for. Hook ideas that you can use, something like this one trick makes people instantly like you or how to know someone is lying to you. That could be like the question. You can do content like mind tricks, personality quizzes, emotional cues, anything like that. You could even do mystery and unsolved facts. A hook style or a question type of thing could be like no one has solved this riddle for 20 years. This will make the viewer become kind of curious and want to watch the entire video. Keep in mind, just because I showed you guys quizzes and questions, doesn't mean you have to do exactly quizzes and questions. You can do it however way you want. The concept that I showed you applies for everything. You can do facts. If you were to do facts, instead of doing option one, option two, option three, you can just do fact one, fact two, fact three. So you can do kind of like four facts about so-and-so and then put the facts. So you have a hook in the beginning and then all the facts. You can structure the video however you want. You can do history. You can do money and success habits, pop culture and TV shows, which is exactly what I showed you guys. And the easiest one by far, sports. Now the quiz type of style videos that I showed you how, that I showed you how to do just now, if you wanted to use these niches for quiz styles, psychology and human behavior, a quiz type of video can be something like, what's the easiest way to make someone like you? Ask them questions, say their name often, compliment their outfit, copy their body language. Answer is D. What's the nickname of the code the Zodiac Killer used? Z340, Red Cipher, Black Code, Omega Key. Answer is A. For history and time travel, when did the Titanic sink? 1905, 1912, 1921, 1899. The answer is obviously B, 1912. I'll leave a link to this on my Telegram so you guys can actually download it. Which, by the way, I completely forgot I even had. Somebody actually messaged me about it today. He's like, yo, why don't you like post on there? I was like, oh forgot I even have it. So yeah, this will be pretty useful for you guys before you get started. It gives you a good idea on which niches to pick, examples on how to make these type of videos. I'll leave a link to the Telegram in the description, and I'm pretty sure it's on my page. If you click on my channel, the bio in the channel should be there somewhere. It's completely free. So even in the future, whenever I have some sort of like PDF file like this, I can actually help you guys with YouTube automation or whatever business it's about. I'll leave them there as well so you guys can download them. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys learned something from this video and enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because not only does it support this channel, it also helps boost the algorithm to promote this video to other people as well, which in the end obviously supports this channel. But that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video.